Hey guys, so today I thought I'd give you a quick first impressions of the two new products from the I'm From brand. They came out with a new rice serum and a new I'm From rice cream, which go along with their uh, I'm From rice toner, which is amazing. Their I'm From rice mask, mm, not so big of a fan of it. I thought it'd be like nicely hydrating and it was kind of grainy and overly scented. Thankfully, neither of these products have those issues. So let me start with the serum. It contains 73% rice germ ferment, which retains more than 65% of its nutritional value in a grain of rice. It's also rich in vitamin B and antioxidants. So no denatured alcohol, no fragrance. So I've tried it a couple times now and it's kind of greasy. So if you have oily skin for the daytime, I don't recommend this one. Um, just wearing it yesterday, my foundation started to kind of um, slide off my face, which I normally never have because it's like 15 degrees outside here, like 0% humidity. So I never have that problem. I was walking outside for like three hours yesterday. But this is very, very hydrating and slightly greasy. So let me show you. The, the texture is really nice. So I found for me, like a lot of other things, this one is much better in my evening routine. It just was too hydrating under my foundation. Although if you have uh, oilier skin or very dry skin, perhaps using this without any other products might work a little bit better. I'm always layering a few things, so that just did not work out. But once it soaks in, it feels really nice and smooth, and it's got a lot of good ingredients in here. Obviously, the rice extract, niacinamide's pretty high up the list, squalane, uh, betaine, uh, tranexamic acid, uh, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, which is uh, different than regular hyaluronic acid, which I find suffocating. The hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid is kind of chopped up and absorbs better than normal hyaluronic acid. Uh, and then we've got normal uh, hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronic, further down the list. Um, Alatlin, then we've got uh, licorice root, and then a few derivatives of Centella Asiatica. So in general, I'm enjoying it. Obviously, I haven't had very long to try it, but I'll certainly give you the full review after I've had a longer chance to use it. But so far for my evening routines, I'm liking it. For the daytime, uh, a bit too hydrated. It still hasn't quite fully absorbed. But anyway, anything that causes my foundation to slide off my face is typically not going to be my favorite, especially for the daytime. But typically with my dry skin, I don't have an issue with that. But this one just so far, I'll play with it more. Okay, so the rice cream, uh, it contains rice brand extract, which is rich in ceramides, um, which can help with skin tone and re repair the skin barrier. So very nice. Uh, not crazy about the jar packaging, but what am I going to do about it? Nothing. Uh, so let me give you a little swatch. So this one is pretty thick. It looks thick in the jar. Once you put it on, it's really kind of um, more of like kind of a lotiony gel texture almost that absorbs like instantly, which feels really nice on your skin. Uh, this one I found I can use under foundation without making it slide off. There you go. But if I use it with the rice serum, then it's not a good combo. But this one I've also found, once it soaks in, it sets to a really nice natural finish, which is nice, non-sticky finish. And this one's got a lot of good ingredients in it as well. So we've got that rice bran. Um, we've got bisabol, panthenol, which is great, uh, vitamin E, adenosine. We've got ceramide in there. Uh, and then sodium hyaluronate, and then we've got another ceramide as well, and then some rice bran oil, uh, and then uh, lecithin. So it's got a lot of nice ingredients in there. No denatured drying types of alcohol, no fragrance, no scent at all, which I love. Nothing with the scent is amazing to me. Anytime. It's interesting when I'm walking outside, I walk out every day, and sometimes there'll be somebody in front of me, and they're so perfumed, like from 12 feet away, I can smell them. It's crazy how much perfume they must put on. But anyway, so I really love the rice cream. That I instantly knew was a total winner. The uh, serum, I'm still grappling a little bit with that kind of slightly greasy texture to it. However, later on the winter, I think maybe my skin will appreciate it more. But for very oily skin types, the serum might be iffy. But the cream absorbs so nice, sets to a nice finish. It has all the good things in it that you want a nice cream to have without any of the bad things like fragrance, um, sketchy, 
preservatives that some people don't like or denatured or drying types of alcohol. So, so far, this is a total winner. This one is up in the air. So, both have a lot of good things going for them. So, anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you're going to check these out yet, if you already have, if you're not going to. Um, if you tried the rice, I'm from rice mask and haven't tried the I'm from rice toner, don't let that dissuade you from trying the other I'm from products because the I'm from rice mask wasn't their best product, but the cream I'm loving. So this one might outdo the toner. We'll see. Toner's pretty amazing too. So anyway, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more later. Thank you so much.